Hello, this is Victor and here with a new weekly tutorial and this time I want to talk something that um, uh, we find in more, more and more in, in some uh, in games worship and I will explain how to do books, how I paint the books. So this is quite a special one because it's also the familiar of the consumer. So but I will explain here how I paint the, the, the book. We also have, uh, this guy has legs, this book has legs. Uh, I will keep this aside, I will focus just on the book part. So and I will start with the cover and I will start applying brown um, and I will apply um, this one, Morphine Brown. It's a base brown, it will cover quite well on top of the blue. I primed them blue because I, I ran out of the white when I was priming and I gonna say that blue was making sense because I'm doing quite a lot of blue on some of these miniatures, so this is what you, you will see them prime in blue. I ran out of my my prime when I was priming. I was I ran out of the white, but most of my um, silver tower miniatures are primed in in white. So I will apply this. Uh, even though we have a lot of details, I will feel, I will apply with that. Okay. And I will go for something not too fancy here. I will go for leather cover with gold details. Okay, will not do it this time. Um, always else and something like that. We'll go for a quite a simple uh, familiar here. Okay, so I will apply this. Okay, I will apply this more from brown, and I will come back when it is done. Once the brown is applied, I will apply no skewing school. You can use uh, also Uzbati bone, or you can use flake one flesh, or even you can use racker flesh. I will I will use this time screaming screaming school to do the pages of the book. Okay, so I will I will yeah. Do another uh, play another base color, and most likely as I prime this in blue, I will need maybe two layers, as you can see, especially in the flat areas. The brushes are in the the brush strokes are going to be visible, so I will need two layers of this. So I will apply two layers of screaming school, and I will come. I will come back. So as you can see, we have now the this the pages painted, and now the next step we are going to paint uh, all these symbols here we have at the back, and I will do them with retributor armor. Okay, and here there is a trick when you have this type of of um, sculpt where the is like, like symbols and. Um, done uh, in the school but you want to just to pop up them what I do is I go with my brush almost horizontal okay with not too much paint and then you can so you, the, the trick here is take a, a detail brush put just paint on your tip and go horizontal and pay, paint with the side of your brush. You will see how easy it is to pop up all these details. Okay. So here you have an additional tip on this. So you can see go flat and then so this is uh, the best way to do this type of engraves or scoops that we have in, in, in this type of this type of oh uh, yeah finishing. So I will do this side of the book and you may understand that the other side is only the same way. Okay. Then these circles again I go I will go with very horizontal and you will see okay you see that I just by going so and very little pressure of course you just pick up 
the surface is that oh, yeah, the, it's, it, this can happen as well, but you see that you pick up very well. So I will leave it like that, and then here we are going to do this one. You can see with the brush almost horizontal, so the brush parallel to the surface. Okay. So I did this part, I will do the, this part and also here, and I will come back. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the this ribbon here. Okay, I'm going to use um, Shadows Purple in that case. I was thinking to use red, but I thought, well, with, uh, in, in, as it's going to be for Thench, let's do a color that is more Thenchy, and I thought that purple is matching better. Okay. Yeah, it can look a little bit odd because we have the blue. Prime, but I think it's okay. Okay, next step. I'm going to use Agax Air Shade and no, first I'm going to use Seraphine Sepia and I'm going to paint, put Seraphine Sepia on these pages. Although the, the, the layer is not completely solid, this will make it look older. So uh, it's not a problem in that case. So we're going to paint, uh, we're going to apply Seraphine Sepia. Okay. And this will give, this will pop up all these wrinkles. That will, we will do a little bit of emphasis on the different holes that we have on, on this book. This is quite a special book. I have more detail than normal books. Uh, if you have a, a normal book, just be sure that this part here, the pages are, are, are visible, okay, and also that you have a nice line, darker line here, this makes look better. So we are going to apply this, also a little bit of shade to have contrast with the purple, okay. The other thing is if you have a regular book, I also, also Try to avoid that, for example, make it soft. And if you see that it's too light, do better two layers. Okay. Now we are going to wait until this dries, and we are going to and we will come with the second uh, wash. That is going to be Agus Air Shade. I'm going to put a little bit more here in this. And we, this this one we are we are going to then put a little bit of with air shade to make it then more visible. So I, prefer, I I think just using a wash well depends how much detail you want to go into your into your book. But this wash gives a lot of and then what I will do is I will leave the book flat like that here for example that to avoid that the wash is just dripping down. Okay, so we'll leave it like that, and I will come back once this dries. So Seraphine Sepia is dry now, and next we are going to apply um, this, no, sorry. Airwax Air Shade is the next wash we are going to do. We are going to apply this one, Airwax Air Shade. I was a little bit of care of these big pots of wash from Mint Workshop. I have to be extremely careful that we don't, yeah, we don't have an accident. So as you can see, I will wash all this with Agox Air Shade, and this will help to even increase the definition uh, between the gold and the brown. 
Okay, we'll do this here, and then we're going to do as well here in the sides. Okay. Here in the sides will help also to show the pages. We can go here. Okay, and now we are going to apply a little bit on these holes. Okay, but we wait until this dry, and then we I will come back. So now that the washes are dry, we are going to work on the on the inside, and we are going to work on the freehand. We are going to take over a small brush and just do some freehand here. So I will. Uh, the first thing I will do is. Oh, the first uh, recommendation is never use black when you want to do the writing inside. Use always uh, a dark brown if you want to do writing. Okay, Reno's height is working very well for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a couple of things. First, I'm going to start with a uh, um, red. Okay, uh, we are we are going to use corn red for that. We are going to use like the capital letters that we have at the beginning of, of a text in these old books. So I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to go here and we are going to do like Something like that. And then I'm going to do a symbol of, we can do like, yeah, a symbol of chaos. Because this is just a submarine book. So we can do like, if it's a symbol of chaos here. Okay, and then is yes. like that <clears throat> the next thing is we are going to take Rhinos height and we are going to do like the text in the other side. You don't want to do straight lines, just something like that. Then we do the same on the other side. can make a gap and then we can start again a little bit lower and 
here. We can just put some runes at the end with the finishing. I'm going to put a little bit more. So we can put, for example, Can put again the red thing in the other side. I can put more text. You can see it's like making dots and then we put like if the text have a signature here. And then we can add more runes. The runes just make some random shapes. Okay, and yeah, the only thing I will do to finalize that is with a little bit of, um, I will use no uh, palette witch flesh. Some small highlights. Just to pop up some of the details of the book. I can put it a little bit in the corners. This is just how to paint this thing and we are going to do of course some highlights on the ribbon. Let's close this. We'll use um, Jenny Stiller purple for that. Then we use a little bit of the color in black. Okay. Do it here. 
on the other side. The other side now is looking to do the gold. So we can just apply a little bit of auric armor gold on top of the gold to round up now the, the work on the book. The legs of this family are going to do it in the tutorial. I want to focus just on the book. So I'm taking auric armor gold. I will just lose some highlights. Also help to clean up a little bit there. The wash. Okay. And on the brown. Just a little bit of what you call this the cal um, um, scrap brown, for example. We can use also the cloud brown. We can use this one, it's quite warm brown. Be careful because the contrast is going to be quite high, and we just want to do a little bit. It's just the final details, and I will finalize here most likely. Okay, just a little bit more here of this brown. Especially because this book you want it to look a little bit wider. Right? Okay, so here we have the book. So yeah, this week I just wanted to show how to paint the book. And as part of also of the painting tutorial I'm doing for the silver tower. So I hope you find this tutorial interesting. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And you also can support me in Patreon. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.